Let's talk about Hal in there, Mr. Randy. You can do it with, yep. the, with the mouthpiece on or off the horn, right? Right, yep. Howling is, uh, you know, basically, you're just saying I'm a coyote over here, and the word we use is uh, interrogation, or like, we're just feeling them out. You're saying, I'm over here, who's over there? Uh, greeting howl. And, uh, so you know, what do you call this howl? Interrogation or okay. greeting howl. You interrogation? Know, could it be a locator howl It could howl be a locator, also? yeah. You're, you're, you're trying to, you know, let them know you're there, and some might howl back. Some just looks up and they go, man, what's going on over there? And he might just go back to his own business, whatever. And uh, so you're just letting them know there's a coyote there. Now, the reason I started doing this, you know, like I said earlier, because a lot of people called before I get out because I was bow hunting or whatever, and I get out there about January and whatever, you know, and they've been educated on the rabbit sounds. So for a beginner, what, what you need to do is just learn how to do this, mainly this first howl, interrogation greeting howl. And uh, what I like to do is put a 45-degree angle on it. It kind of just works better in it. And uh, uh, now for howling, I do put my teeth underneath and my teeth on top. Just touching on it, it'd be a lot better, mm -hmm. a lot easier. And you get the pressure you need. And you just slide like on, on this one, like if you want to do, you know, and you can do greeting howls uh, as different coyotes. You can be an older coyote, or, uh, like a female, male kind of, or a younger, uh, young, uh, uh, like a yearling. And mainly what we do is we're just using different pitches. So if you like an older coyote, do, an older dominant coyote or whatever, howling, you just go like from all the way in, kind of, you know, from D on up to C. And it's, it's long, you want to make a long, ow. <coughs> Almost like a siren. That's why I've always started for years. Uh, it just always works great, and it's non-threatening. It's not if you're going in there and doing like we'll talk about challenge howls and stuff, and uh, that you're going to warn a few coyotes off. So you can't really hurt anything when you go in there and do this type of a howl. So locator, uh, interrogation, uh, get you started. Greeting, howl. that's yeah. your get you. So started. they know there's a coyote there. See, now they know it. Whether then they might come. And we have a lot of times they'll just show up to the house. Is it louder with the horn? Yeah. So you can yeah. do it with or without. So if you right. want to try it in for. Coyote that might be close, try it without the horn. Yeah. And then, then right. if it's further away, try it with the yeah. horn. Wow. Yeah. Now that's wow. an older coyote. And he did that towards you. I know, I was, I was saying that. <laughs> I was fixing to hold my ears up. He'd done it yesterday in the office. <laughs> so now if you go towards, uh, you know, like from about uh, C to B, then, you know, it's just like a younger coyote. That's mostly what you hear Same about that pitch. Same siren type effect, right. but it's higher pitched. Mm -hmm. So you're still doing a greeting, but it's a greeting from right. a younger coyote. And, so, and why do you need to do all these? You know, and you can even do a pup howl towards the tip. <laughs> the more, it's just kind of like turkey calling, elk calling. You guys are doing more cows now. How many guys can get behind you? And you know, I noticed that on, and uh, in Turkey, you got all these turkey yelping going on. The more coyotes you can sound sound like in the same area. You know, a lot of times I'll start with a maybe a young coyote, <coughs> and I'll wait a little bit. Maybe put the barrel on there and sound like old daddy coyote answering the pup. I'm glad you faced that way. <laughs> now, the little dog, you can do the same thing, can't you, Randy? Yeah, it's a howler, too. We got the little uh, horn on it, too. And uh, what you can do is more of the pup howl. It's a softer howl. It's not so threatening. You know, so you'll have pups coming into this. You know, this is, round this them is up. the greeting locator or yep. interrogation. Yep. What's the difference? Other than the, the length of it, the reed's way different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a narrower trough, uh, uh, just a different reed. Totally, totally, totally different. Totally different, totally yeah. different sound. Every, you change one thing, you have to change everything else to make it get those smooth sounds, otherwise it does it take? The, how, what about air, as much air as it takes to blow this one? A lot one less air. It'd, it'd be easier for beginners, too, you know, to, to learn, the learn on a little log first. Yeah. And, and one thing I forgot to mention, too, you know, with the barrel on, on the little dog and we're doing the distress, you can use for volume, you can leave that on for your distress and cup it and you get more wrath. <coughs> okay. Well, then just going. <coughs> this is a different sound. Thanks. Yeah, we covered that during distress.